Welcome to Gurvey Travel's Travel Series. I'm Gurvinder Ravery, owner of Gurvey Travel. So today I have the pleasure of chatting with one of my hotel partners, Graham, who's the business development manager for Club Med. Welcome, Graham. Thank you. Oh, it's Appreciate great to it. have you. So Graham, can you tell us a little bit about yourself and what you do? Sure, absolutely. I, I've been in the travel industry 30 plus years. Spent about eight years as an international tour guide in Pacific Rim. Most of my time was spent in India, about two years, Thailand and a couple of other um, Pacific Rim destinations. I've owned my own travel company. I've worked for the cruise lines. I worked for the airlines. But my job for the past 14 years has been as a business development manager for Club Med. And my responsibilities are, are mainly relationships with travel agents, putting together marketing plans, putting together something that will stimulate a client to realize that Club Med is now an upscale product for families, singles, couples, whatever it, whatever it may be, and uh, maintain, create that relationship put new ideas out there and make sure that the travel agent is qualifying the resort and getting them to the right resort. Because even though Club Med is just about for everybody, certain Club Meds may not be for you. So makes I'm great here for, sense. for the travel agent. And in turn, that means I'm there for your clients. That makes great sense. And it is very important to be able to qualify, you know, where my clients and what they're looking for, because I would have that relationship and then be able to, speak to you about the different various resorts. Um, I have the experience of visiting one, um, one in Turks and Caicos, but Graham, okay. can you describe Club Med Resorts and a guest experience within the resort? Yeah, well, Club Med is the originator of the all-inclusive experience, and, uh, and what a lot of people do not know, Club Med is the originator of children's clubs at resorts. I did not We're know not that. just the Caribbean, we're not just Mexico, we are all around the world. In fact, today only China is open. There are many Club Med resorts in China and really the concept is have fun with your families, have fun international guests that are at our resort, mm -hmm. learn a sport, own a sport. If there's a children's club, drop off your children's in that children's club. We know you want to spend time with your children, but why not get away for a little while when you're on vacation? Social physical activities and a huge part of club matters are gracious organizers which we call geos they live at the resort they're your friends they're making sure that you have a great vacation it really is what makes us unique and i'll i'll go into the size of our resorts later but the size and the amount of land we have where you can just roam around feel free have a good time and that's not just sun you know, that's also goes for all inclusive ski. Um, mm -hmm. We will be opening up Quebec, Charlebois here pretty soon in December 2021. That will reintroduce, reintroduce ski in North America. And that includes your lifts, your lessons, your drinks, your cuisine, your children's clubs, absolutely everything. Just, just added value all around at Club Men. When you go to a Club Men, if you don't want to spend the time, you don't have to. Wow. That sounds fabulous. And I just had some clients at the club, at, uh, club med um, skiing and it was, they had a phenomenal time. So again, thank you to Graham who helped me a lot through that as well. Um, sure. And if you had to look at your brands, is there a more popular resort than the others? Well, you know, club med was the very first resort in Cancun. Mm -hmm. We picked okay. the best piece of land. It is on the second largest barrier reef in the world. You can see the concrete high rises, all inclusive resorts from our resort. Uh, it's got four beaches. It's got a lagoon for water skiing. That is always in demand, especially with the suites. Club Med has gone upscale. Suites, concert levels, room service, priority housekeeping, everything that you could want is perfect uh, for that resort. For that's for families. Mm -hmm. You know, for singles and couples, Turks and Caicos. It had renovations. Last year, it is a beautiful resort. It's on the number one beach in the Caribbean. I believe it's number two in the world. There is nothing but beauty in walking the beach and, and enjoying at that resort. And I would say for for ski, it would probably be Val Torrens in the French Alps, mm -hmm. where the very competitive routes, uh, great cuisine. And if we're talking the, the Pacific Rim, I personally love uh, Phuket in Thailand. What is your favorite resort? Well, I've probably been to Clementic Stop 40 times. 
Um, wow. <laughs> one of the one of the yeah one of the main reasons is because I did travel so much when uh-huh. uh, I was a tour guide. So it's uh, you know I live in Los Angeles. It's three hours away. And really, this is this is part of story. I guess experience. I mean, loving this resort will understand the qualification process that your client, not just you, mm-hmm. but your clients, need to think about because there is something at a club med that is perfect for everybody. I love to body surf. Mm-hmm. There's an area of the beach on the right where you body surf all day. In the middle, there's small waves where I can go with my my son and we can have a great time. And when we want, we can go all the way to the left where there's no waves where you can sail, which my son is an excellent, excellent sailor. Then we go to archery. My son is actually one of the top archers for his age range here uh, in Los Angeles. Hmm. The cuisine, the, the guacamole is out of this world over there. But I really also like the outside of the resort. Some of the, the hiking and biking routes, it's safe, clean, they're beautiful. It's, it's authentic Mexico. You know, right. you go to a lot of these destinations around the world. You know, you're going as a tourist. You don't mm-hmm. want to always be in the tourist destinations. You know what yes. I mean? So when it's different, that's that's not around. So that's why it's my favorite. And then in reference to families, let's say they were wanting to choose an all-inclusive. Why should they choose Club Med over other all-inclusive resorts? I say it's, it's social and physical okay. um, aspect of the resort. No video games, no internet, no TV. These kids are out there. They start the day on the trapeze. They go from trapeze Mm -hmm. to sailing, then archery, then kayaking, then pool. They're tired when they when they get home. You can meet people from all around the world. You know, it it is just great to introduce your children and your family to people, and and people get addicted. It's we still have the highest return factor in the industry. People get addicted to it. They go and they go and they they go again and. You know, they, they even find out what one family is going from, like, let's say Canada or, or France. When, when are they going to stop or whatever it may be? And they go together. So they create yeah. lifelong friendships. You, you want, want a story when you go home that says you did something different than mm-hmm. just a high rise with a small beach with a swim bar. Club yeah. Med, if, you, if you're looking for a high rise, a small beach, it's just not Club Med. You know, that, that, that's not what we're out to do to make. Our guests enjoy a week, two weeks, and just remember and, and, and find and do something that you've never done before, like archery, like trapeze, like mm-hmm. water skiing, whatever it may be. Yeah. So that is why. And also our geos and, our, and again, our, our pieces of land are, are the best in the world. Club Med was the very first resort in Cancun, mm-hmm. very resort in, in the Dominican Republic, and the very first resort in so yeah. I know that you have a resort that you wanted to share with us today. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would that would be great. So awesome. I'm going to share screen. Part of a deciding factor for yes, your clients to come to a resort is going to be social distancing. You're you're, you're going to have enough areas to enjoy. On average, a club med is fifty acres. Okay. Now, when we're talking to make it easy, when we're talking football fields mm-hmm. and the number of guests we have, which now will be at 65%, we will not go over 65% occupancy. Okay. So our resorts, for instance, this one, for every football field, there's nine guests. Because this resort is wow. 200 acres. Uh, and that's typically what a club man resort is like. I... I personally love this resort because I was introduced to a a sport called pickleball a little while ago, about three years ago. I do millions of dollars in groups in pickleball. Mm -hmm. I come here with these pickleball groups all the time. Uh, I wake up in the morning. I I have a golf lesson. I have a tennis lesson. I have a volleyball lessons. Now we have soccer lessons. These are in groups. They're included. If I want to go sail, I can sail. And well, the key to it, because right now we don't know when other borders are going to open up. This right. resort will open up June twelfth. Okay. And it's yeah, it's forty five minutes north of, of West Palm Beach, mm-hmm. and, and there's nothing like laying on that. And I'll keep in mind that is a man made beach, and this is a bay, but there's a beach really close. And just being able to sail and, and enjoy the cuisine is absolutely fabulous here. It is 
what people are looking for at this time. And then we have the theater where we're going to start having, and instead of just having one show a night, we're going to have multiple shows at night to keep the social distancing um, around. So the key really is low density mm -hmm. on prime real estate. And that's what you get at all Club Med Resorts. So then when you want, but if they when they when they open up, if you want to leave and you want to go see a movie, you're in Paints Port St. Lucie, Florida. Right. If you want to go bowling, if you want to go to a different different restaurant, Jensen Beats not too far away. It's absolutely beautiful. Okay. Uh, the children's club started four months of age all the way up to 17 years. There's actually swimming classes included for the petite, which is <clears throat> two to four years old. Uh, there's teen spas, there's just everything you can think of doing. And when really, your child can learn how to play tennis for free and golf for free. Huh. They can learn how to cook. These rooms are very spacious. They're very yeah. nice. And that's really what, what I wanted to focus on today for resort and get in a kind of detail because it is becoming extremely popular. In fact, last week we had, we saw more revenue than 2019 for, for last week. So hmm. people want to go to Sandpiper. Now your clients will know about it. And and we can tell them all about it. Wow, that it looks phenomenal. And how many restaurants on the property? We are going to remain with the buffet concept, just the buffet concept, but in a very special way. Mm -hmm. Only a certain amount of people will be allowed into the resorts, Excellent. and it will be all plated. So nice. there won't be an actual buffet where people will be able to grab something, but there will yep. be plated foods. Well, they'll be able to grab and that and, and really the takeaway when i go to a club med when i'm listening and i'm cheating that here is i can't believe how good the cuisine is you know with french manage mm -hmm. if you like uh if you like white chocolate bread if you like cheese my gosh this is the, the best places in the world to go to so mm -hmm. all restaurants will be open some have multiple restaurants. This resort only has one. It's quite large. Mm -hmm. So we'll be, we'll be able to um, uh, keep the occupancy levels low. I don't know exactly yet how it's going to work. I think it's right. going to be a work in progress yeah. starting uh, yeah. the 12th of June. Mm -hmm. I believe it's probably going to be take a number or this table at your turn. Yeah. And like which everything is, else right safer. now. Yeah. Like yeah. everything else right now, it's fluid. We got it. We have to try different things and, you know, being able to come at 65% occupancy, I think that is already helpful and reassuring to clients coming in. So when people do book Club Med, why, why should they go to a travel agent? Well, expertise is the mm -hmm. first one. <laughs> Somebody called you and said they wanted to go to Turks and Caicos in September or October. Mm -hmm. We would take the book in. We wouldn't say a thing. Well, you're going to tell them it's hurricane season, you know, and then that's what a professional travel agent is before. I use the word qualified quite a lot. Mm -hmm. They're going to qualify. There's a lot, a lot of times a travel agent will call me and say, you know, my clients want to come here. And I'll say, no, this resort is not good for them. But hey, there's 80 club men, red resorts around the world. Let's get them to a correct one. Yeah. You know, um, and really the good example is somebody who really is, doesn't care about the land, um, small beach, just a swim up pool. Mm -hmm. Club men is different. Club men is special. Club men is an experience. And my budget allows it. I can offer your client some resort credit that they would not get if they book direct. Because my my business is business to business. I, right. I do not deal right. with clients direct, and it's a pleasure to deal with travel agents like you, uh, who have clients that are interested in in, in showing what the club med concept is about, and, and just hearing when they get back about how much they love that resort and that they're they're ready to book and they're ready to go again. Wow. And you're absolutely right. And the relationship is so important on all levels, you know, client to travel advisor, travel advisor to the business development manager. And I hope you will stay in touch with me when your North American, your Canada resort opens for skiing. Love to hear more about that. Um, yeah, absolutely. Do you have anything else to add, Graham? No, I just want to say thank you for Minda. Um, I appreciate, I appreciate the time, I appreciate the questions, and I appreciate you spreading the news of the Club Med product to your clients. Absolutely. Very easy to do. I thank you very much for being here today, Graham, and I look forward to speaking to you soon. Okay. Take care. Bye-bye, Thank everybody. you. Bye-bye.